Hello and welcome back to The Note. Today we're going to be discussing the uh, contributions to equity valuation by this man, Robert Schiller. Very famous for his cyclically adjusted uh, price earnings ratio known as the CAPE, which proved to be very useful in showing various big market tops in the past, particularly in uh, early 2000. However, there are now growing criticisms of CAPE because it has basically been telling people to sell equities ever since. It's missed various big buying opportunities. My guest today has come up with a very interesting revision uh, of CAPE that might render it a more useful indicator once more. He is the head of global asset allocation for Société Générale, Alain Pocopse. Alan, thank you very much for joining me again. Thank you for inviting John. Right, now let's start by taking a look at the uh, classic measure of CAPE as it appears on uh, uh, Robert Schiller's website. Plainly shows very clearly that you should have sold in 1929 and 2000, uh, but never really suggested you should be buying in this uh, latest uh, period. What do you think uh, might be the, the flaws in the, uh, in the CAPE process that we're seeing here? So, before working on adjustment, mm. uh, we must say that I love the way of working with a very long-term picture in yes. mind. This is what uh, uh, Schiele brought to the market knowledge, and that was a huge work on earnings, the price of the equity market we had, but on the corporate earnings, that was a tremendous job which has been done. So congratulations to the uh, man coming from he, the he university. He earned a Nobel Prize with, this, with these That insights. was a yes. tremendous job. Yeah. However, markets are uh, beyond the long-term fundamentals, sometimes... Um, uh, forgetting a few variables, uh, market psychology, right. so that uh, you can go away into exuberance. And uh, when you switch from exuberance to catastrophe, uh, you need to work on the triggers. Right. Yeah, that is the job also of a strategist and a team like ours, right. uh, to highlight what makes the brain of the asset management industry be bullish or bearish. So right. to work on the triggers, which might make an expensive asset, everybody knows it today, yeah. some kind of a danger asset. Expensive can always be even more expensive tomorrow, and cheap can always be cheaper tomorrow if you don't have the trigger for the valuation change. Okay, and how can we compare, is it valid to compare earnings data from the 20s to earnings data that we have now? As I understand it, the US tax regime has changed and that creates a different picture. That is one of the adjustments we have proposed. The uh, corporate tax rate was introduced in 1907 from right. that point, it was zero, started at 1.5%. And, half percent. and uh, after the 1929 crisis, uh, was very severely increased uh, to 50% and then going back down under the Reagan years. So over the period where you have the start point from mm. 1871 to today, you have a huge swings in the corporate tax rate for corporation, up significantly after the uh, 1929 crisis to World War II and then from Reagan a significant fall. Okay, now let's take a look at CAPE as you've adjusted it for those huge changes in, uh, in corporate tax rates. And now 1929 and 2000 appear to be roughly similar events, which accords with intuition. Uh, and it does look like there really was a clear buying opportunity in 2009, which obviously we now know there was. What does this imply now that we've got this new picture what does this imply for the future? It implies that the, uh, we don't have the same excesses today that we had in the early 2000s or late in 1928. Right. So one cannot say today that we have entered exuberance. Right. So the uh, decision by the Federal Reserve to normalize quickly or not their monetary policy in the quarters to come, now that the US economy is normalizing, will be very important. Right. If they stay very, very, very slow normalizing the monetary policy, which is as much conventional as unconventional policy, it is a possibility that we are going to leave exuberance on US equities. Okay, Anna, thank you very much once more. Again, just to, to ram home that message even on this basis, CAPE suggests that stocks are expensive at the moment. It does not suggest that they are any kind of a screaming sell like they were in 2000 or 1929. They do suggest that the groundwork is there for another bubble like those that we saw then. The critical variable on whether such a thing might happen lies with the Fed.